Solo slooping is one of the most common playstyles in Sea of Thieves, but that doesn't mean it's easy. So here's an advanced guide to show you some helpful tips when you're sailing the seas. Using an ammo crate, storage crate, a fruit crate or whatever crate you can find in the middle of your sloop will stop you running back and forth when it's not needed. You only need to go below decks if you have a hole. So if there's no damage and you're low on health because they're a good shot, then you just need to turn around and stock up and then you're back in the cannons in no time. But remember, don't put all your supplies in these crates. Just in case the enemy harpoon them or jump on and steal them, just keep enough to keep you going. You should definitely be using the Eye of Reach when you are sailing. This is because you can actually use it as a replacement for the Spyglass. So if you spot an enemy on their ship and you think you can actually hit them, then you are ready to take a shot instantly. Or even if you're just checking their ship out and spot a gunpowder barrel in the crow's nest, you are ready to take that shot if needed. If you're not a fan of the Eye of the Reach, then you can just change it when you approach an island. It's more for when you're sailing as it could be used to help you out. We all get in that situation where we are being chased. And sometimes it's not the best option to stand and fight, especially if the enemy crew have mastered the chain shot, or maybe you've got one on a special chest aboard and you're not ready to part of it just yet. So in this situation, you're going to want to do this. Find another player's ship. Once you found another player's ship, you're going to want to sail straight towards them. Yep, you want to go straight towards another enemy player. Because we are hoping that the ship chasing you will take off and chase the other ship or go in combat. Maybe they'll enjoy combat and combat together. You don't know. So if they take the bait and they attack each other, then you can sneak away untouched. However, if they don't take the bait, you can then ask the other ship if they want to join an alliance or ask them for help. You never know, they might be a friendlier pirate than the ones chasing you. Try and cash in on the regular. So in the event that you get sunk, you haven't really lost everything. And then it doesn't become a complete waste of time. Now, yes, I know it's boring to cash everything in regularly. But what you could do is find a rowboat, fill it with some treasure and then find yourself an outpost. Then sail past the outpost while raising your sails slightly. And just when you're really close to one of the merchants or gold holders or when you feel comfortable, detach the rowboat. Because your sails are raised half up, your ship's not going to go anywhere too badly. Just make sure you're steering straight first. Then row to the outpost, cash your stuff in and then catch the mermaid back. Use a microphone to talk to other players. You never know, you might be able to stop them attacking you or even chasing you. And you could gain an alliance from it. Because at the end of the day, it's hard to trust a player who only uses the chat command or if they don't communicate at all. So if you're a PC player, you can type, but there is one problem with that. If they do end up boarding you and you want to tell them to stop, as soon as you start typing, you're not going to be fighting. So bear that in mind. Not only that, you can use the loudspeaker to communicate with ships a bit further away. This can give you some time because there's a big distance between you two. So if they don't sound very friendly at all, you've got some chance to get out of there. Remember to pick up empty treasure chests. They are actually really useful when they look. You can store schools inside of it and this will stop the green glowing which you can see from your ship from miles away. You can also store smaller items inside as well which makes it easier to cash in. You can store stuff like mermaid gems, schools and the smaller trinkets you can find laying around. Keep your ashen keys nice and tidy on your ship. And as an added bonus, you get to cash that treasure in for extra gold. Make sure that when you arrive in the island, you put your ship ready to leave, just in case of an emergency. I can't tell you how many times I've had to drop the sails and go, just because a play ship has snuck up on me, and it does happen. It really helps to make a quick getaway. If you're going to do this, do make sure your anchor is raised, because that will mean you're not going to go away just as fast because you've got to raise the anchor and it does take some time. So get in the habit of approaching the islands by raising the sails slowly and drifting in. Solo slooping is not easy when you've come across experienced crews, but after learning some of these tips, you may stand more of a chance. Head over to the community tab on my channel as I do weekly fun polls. You can take part in too. You can also find any information or behind the scenes for my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell as there'll be more guys like this in the future. There are some pillar screens on right now, you might like them as an interest of CF Thieves.